by the numbers the program is going bankrupt. She wasn't subtle. Kay Bailey Hutchison today unveiled her plan to overhaul Social Security with a YouTube video, a Washington press conference, charts, graphs, an interview with us. It is politically dicey. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but I think somebody has to step forward. The senator proposes gradually raising the retirement age, the age at which you'd qualify for Social Security benefits to 69 years old. And the benefits themselves would shrink to a 1% reduction each year. Without doing so, she says the program will go broke. Don't make us work till we die. In years past, this kind of plan was political suicide. Protesters swarmed when similar ideas surfaced. If you're putting 12% plus of everything you earn into a program, people expect to get a good return on that. They expect to be able to retire on that. But the AARP has given the senator some political cover, saying it too expects benefits will have to be cut to prevent the system from going bankrupt. And Kay Belly Hutchison, fresh off a failed run for governor, and her decision not to run for U.S. Senate again is in the unique political position to formally propose these changes. Since I'm not running, I'm not uh, concerned with that question, so I'm just moving ahead. A White House Deficit Commission is meeting this week to debate ways to cut the national deficit. We'll find out if the senator's Social Security proposal is part of that commission's plan when the commission wraps up its work, likely next month. In Washington, Scott McFarland for statesman.com.